vida en el rancho Los Rosales. Alright guys, we're back at the ranch. Uh, we came to check on the goats. And we had to come meet somebody from the county. Just uh, sign the petition so that they can make that easement road to a county road. I don't know, you can't see it right now, but uh, we're gonna get the county road established so that way we can have an address. So there's uh, Jared and Jason's over here hiding, trying to get some shade. It's hot out here now, guys. Let me go in there real quick. Jerry and there's Jason. They've been out here. Can't get them some feed already. We're not gonna be staying long today. We gotta just uh, come over and get that paper signed and head back to Corpus. My daughter has a doctor's appointment, and there's the wife. Filling her bird feet. They already munched on all the all the feed. So now she's gonna refill them up. Hello. I don't have anything to to do it with right now. I'm having to do it with this. You can't take the lid off. I need to do with what I got. Can't take that lid off? Mm, I don't know. I highly Probably don't. not. No, I wouldn't want to because of the weight it's gonna end up. They came out of the pen to get some green grass. So let me take you guys over here to what I'm talking about. So, uh, a representative from the county is gonna come out and since we got this land, this easement cleared up a few months back because we were requesting for a county road because uh, I'm over here in the very back and uh, we don't have an address. So we can't get power. If we wanted to get power, we can't get power out here. We have some guys over there working. I don't know if you guys can see them. See those guys over there? But we won't be able to get any power established until we get uh, an address. So the 911 coordinator can establish an address for us if we don't get this easement uh, situated. So this is where our entrance is going to be, you guys. To the ranch. And this. This easement road right here, going all the way to the. That was where we, were, where we come in through, and then it runs this way, and it ends over here. So we're at the very back, but we won't be able to get a, an address unless we get this easement road. I guess turn into a county road. I think that's what they had said. So. Um, that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on this gentleman to come by. We gotta sign that petition. And then uh, we'll go from there. Still gotta work on this fence right here, guys. This, this, this will be my front fence right here. The fence to the front side of the property. So I gotta get all this fixed. Gotta get it re, re fenced up. Let's come over here and I'll show you. The barbed wire's in the, on the floor. See that? I just gotta get it back up. Or uh, just get a, get a restrung up. All this right here, all this right here guys. All this used to be nothing but like that. So we had to hire somebody to come and clean all this up so they can establish this 
easement road. Or the easement. So we'll be uh, getting to work on this hopefully soon. And get this fence back up. And get some goats out here. Some goats and some cattle. So we can try to salvage the extension of the agricultural exempt ag exempt uh, for tax this is probably going to be another entrance the back gate and the front gate over there this will be another entrance right here we got to get all this fixed right here Oh, this is going to get fixed. Purchase this uh, small storage area. When we first got the property so that we can have some stored things in. But we're going to move this pallet cabins in so we'll be relocating the storage when we first started coming out here we were just doing nothing but camping it's a bunch of camping gear in here so uh hopefully soon we're gonna take everything over there i gotta re reinstall this fence right here West fence. Gotta make it go all the way to the back. These T posts right here are uh, markers for where we're gonna install. Right here, we're gonna put this post right here, and that pole right there, and that pole right over there, and this pole. We're gonna build a big gazebo. My wife wants it to be from that T-pose right there, that one, this one, and that one, that one, and that one. It's going to be sort of like an L. My wife wants it to be a pole. All the green starting to come back out, guys. It was all dead out here. But since winter's almost gone or gone, should start blooming up again. You have to be coming out here with the zero turn and try to maintain this so it doesn't overgrow. Because all this right here, guys, all this is cut down. So this is where our property line starts, guys. Right here, right in this corner. where it starts it goes all the way that way and then it goes all the way that way this is the other fence line I gotta work on and then it goes that way There's our pallet cabin. So that's finished, but there's a camper that we picked up that somebody gave to us. A pallet cabin. There's Jason and Jared.
Vida en el rancho Los Rosales.